Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Boca Grande, Florida. And it is March 12th. It's about 72 degrees here. I'm going to give you a few minutes to try to find me. And I'm going to look at check on my iPad and see if I can find something. Let's see what's here. Mm, I might be in the wrong spot on my iPad. Let me see what's here. Oh, I am. I'm in the wrong spot. I'm going to try to get back to the correct one here. So let's see what's here, if we can find this. Okay. There we go. I can see myself now. That'll be good. See myself now. And now I have to turn off the volume though. Sorry about that. And now I have to turn off the volume though. Sorry about that. There we go. Now I got the volume turned off. It's complicated. Hey Nancy, good to see you there. I guess you're still in Florida, so you're watching here from that was so fun to have you visit the other day. Um Anyway, great. We all had such a great time. We talked about that. And good morning, Kathy Wilkerson from Montana. Yes. Tell us where you're coming from and how the weather is there. That's great. Um, yeah. How are things going in Montana, Kathy? Um, good to see you this morning. It's been beautiful weather here. It's about 72. Hey, Janet from Washington. You're a long way. I can't believe your package got to you so quickly for all the way from Florida. So we, my husband and I live in Montana, but we are in uh, Florida for three months. So um, anyway, it's actually the middle of March already. So we only have a few more weeks and then we're going to be returning to Montana. So anyway, so good to see you this morning. It takes a few minutes for people to find us. I want to tell you, um, we have all kinds of, we're going to be working today out of the um, mini catalog. What a great catalog. We have a few more. We have about a month and a half left of this catalog. And then we have these fabulous Good Morning Munch from Mo Northern Montana. We have these wonderful online exclusives. Online exclusives. I have enjoyed these so much. Um, I did print out, I, I was able to purchase these for a copy, someone who put these online and I was able to print these out. But you can go to the computer and on, under my website, Corinne's Crafts, dot stamping up, um, and you can find the online or you can go to stampingup.com and you can see all the online exclusives. And the beauty of the online exclusives is that when they um, they just reorder some things, and good morning, Levon from Montana. So they um, some things will continue on for a long time. We've had some great things in the past, and they're still available. So you can look at all of those things online, but some things will run out, and they don't reorder those, depending. A lot of the metal things, punches and dies, those are hard, harder to get. So get those early. Good morning, Jolene from Minnesota. Good to see you this morning, ladies. And I'm going to say this again. I've been saying it every week for a little bit. I want to emphasize how important it is to start if you have not ordered your reinkers. This is the time to do it. They're not expensive, but these colors are soon going to retire. So the reinkers are the first things that will will sell out. They'll probably sell out in the next um, thirty days, if less, maybe even less because um, we know that they're going to retire. So people, in the, these are the colors, the beautiful colors that are retiring. We have sorbet, sweet sorbet. Um, here, I'll do it this way. I'll hold it up this way. We've got starry sky as the dark blue. And then we have orchid. Hi, Carla and Chris from Florida. They're in, the, those are my sisters that are in the other room. Good to see you, Martina. Um, my sisters will pop in and say hi at the end of the video. This is sweet sorbet. And then we have this gorgeous uh, Tahitian Tide is the bright blue one like this. This is going to be retiring. And the green is Parakeet Party. I don't have those arranged very nice. I'm gonna see if I can do a little better job of this. Um, I love I love these colors. Um, I've been using them quite a bit. I used them last week. You can go back and check out that video and um, so I I think it's important if you enjoy, these have been, 
great colors and the embellishments and everything. So you can go, um, you can stock up on some of these things. So that way you'll be able to use it for a long time. Here are the colors. So those are the ones that are going to be re retiring next month. Good to see. Yes. Anyway, those are the things that are retiring. But the, the first things that sell out are the reinkers. So anyway, um, when you take a look at the online exclusive, you can go in there and order those reinkers. I like to have at least two per ink pad. So, alrighty, we are ready to start. I have a really fun set today. Never used anything like this before. Um, yeah, it's been really great to have my sisters here. My sister Kara left last night because she's a teacher and she had to get back to school and her flight, she couldn't fly out today. So my other sisters are flying out this afternoon. But anyway, so we've had a great time and I'm going to miss them again. I'm really gonna miss them a lot. We've been swimming and walking and shopping and eating and playing lots of games, um, going to the pool, uh, just having a great time together. So, and uh, Terry left for a few days for a road trip and now he's back. He's here at the house too. So this is what we're using this week, this hooray for surprises. I know it's all backwards, but um, it'll when I get down, turn it down, it won't be, so it'll be great. It's super, I love this set, and it is in the um, mini catalog, and I will show you that. Okay, let's turn the camera down, and hopefully we'll get a few more people finding us as we start our demonstration. Okay, close your eyes, here we go. And I have, these are cards to show you. Um, let's see, these are some, my sister Carla showed us how to make these kind of cards with um, blending brushes or with with um, blender pens in black. They're sort of a magic card and we, aren't they pretty? They're really fun. I'll have to show you those sometime. So those are, that's a, was a new technique, something I had never done. And then this week's class, I have a class that will be this weekend. This Saturday will be, uh, Friday is the deadline to order for it. And these are the cards that we're going to be making. Um, these two are the same. You can choose your own. You're going, you're going to get a half a package of designer paper. You're getting gems. You're getting some ribbons. These are, you're going to make five cards. And these all have... Um, we're not going to make this one, but the, but you see how these pull like this. It has an interactive. You stamp, and then you pull it back, and it says you are simply amazing. So it's really a great, and you can sort of tack it down like that. And then, uh, let's see, I have a couple more. I don't know where they are, though. Oh, here, we're going to do one today. Um, here's one, too. Um, this one, you can just, you can pull them up, and there's something underneath. Isn't that neat? So this is a set. This is something I've never made before, these interactive. So these have perforated. Um, you can just, I won't pull that one up because that sort of ruins the surprise, but some of them don't have perforations. This one is just a stamp set that were just a simple card with some embossed background. And everything is die cut for you and everything ready to go. You get a half package of designer paper. You get uh, gems and ribbons. You get a printed tutorial. And um, the cost is $40, and that includes shipping. And so this is what we're using today. We're going to use a bunny set, eat excellent eggs, and then we're going to use this. But we're going to use this interactive part for both. So this is on page um, 13 of our catalog. Page 13, the bundle is $46.75. Page 13, and it is really a fun one. I love the verses, make a wish, hope your birthday is wonderful, hooray, can't wait to see you, sending you lots of love, you're the best, this is really a nice heart, um, birthday cake, everything, you're simply amazing, just a wonderful set. Okay, and so we're about ready to start that. Really, a, I think it's a, a bundle that is very worthwhile getting. This is the paper we're using today, Be Mine, and um, hey, Mary Ellen from Cloudy, Montana. You're in, are you in northern Montana? I'm not sure where, or eastern. Um, be, we're going to be, we're not using any of the bees, but we're using the backside. So the stripes, the flowers. Do you 
These are the ones that we're using in this class. So really great paper though, I love it. I did a B class, we have already done that. Okay, so we're ready to start. And the, uh, the card that we're going to be using, or making, is this one. So on this one, I'm gonna just peek and show you. Make-A-Wish is right under there. So that's the peekaboo part of this interaction. So these cards, um, hope your birthday is wonderful. Just like that. And you can do any kind of designer paper. On both of these, I did um, this one. I used a that simply sophisticated from Celebration. This one is that painted texture one. And today we're going to be using the um, the one that has the zinnias. And zinnias is a brand new online exclusive. Let me show you what the zinnias look like. This is the Zinnia. This is a brand new folder that you can get online. It's a 3D embossing folder. That number is 163337. I'm not positive how much it is, but it's really a great one. This is what we're going to be making today is we're going to use the Zinnias on this petal pink. And you can just sort of see it's very, very pretty. Here's another my sister um, did this magic technique with this, with that's the zinnia. Isn't that pretty? You can just see how it sort of pops with the, with the green, but it's a great, it's a fun little technique, and, but it's a great folder. That's a new one, so. Um, okay, let me see. Things all over here. All right, we are going to start with our base. Our card, we're going to put our pieces together and do some things. Um, our, our card base is going to be sorbet, sweet sorbet. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're going to put our pink on top like this, petal pink and sweet sorbet. Sorbet is the one that's going to be leaving. All of these measurements will be on my, um, under underneath this video. It's, it takes me about five or ten minutes to put them on. They're all typed up. And um, they're all ready to go. All I have to do is once the video is uploaded or downloaded or whatever, um, then it, 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 I can put the directions on. So we're going to put the, um, the zinnias like this. I hope you can all hear okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm talking into the microphone okay. There we go. So all the directions will be typed up under on the YouTube video. They're under more. And on... Under here, they're just going to be, you'll just see them right away instantly. The white inside is three and three-fourths by five. I'll put that on right away. It's funny, I haven't done much stamping or crafting for the last four days. My sisters have been here, and we've just been busy, and I, I worked really hard last week to get sort of things done ahead of time. And um, so so that I could have fun with them. And um, then we're gonna take a designer strip. There's the bee on the other side. We're gonna use the little flowers on this one. This is one and a fourth by three and three fourths. Nothing hard about it. How many of you have this set? It's a really fun set. I don't know. I was a little bit intimidated by it, but it is, it's easier than I thought. So I'm gonna try to, walk you through a little bit of it today. So we are going to, let me get my card out. This is the, this is the card we're making. So this one is going to have the painted, um, textured paint. So now we're going to add this sorbet. This is three and a fourth by three and a fourth, just like that. I'm going to put that on and it's going to go right down here. Okay. And we'll put those away. Then I, this is what I've done. Now I'm going to show you this as we, um, so I've cut um, two of these white squares. They're two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And I, on one, I left it plain. And the other one, I die cut this, that circle. Let me see if I can find it. So I just took this. There are, on this set, there are actually four. I took the smaller one right here, and I don't want to lift it up 
But what I do have, and then we have a we have one that has a heart. So it has a little tab on it. There's a larger uh, circle. And then there is this long one. This one I thought was a little tricky to use. So we're not using it in my class, but it's it's neat, but it's a little, I thought it was a little harder, but maybe it was just me. Great set of dyes for sure. Nice flower. Okay, we're gonna put that over there so I don't lose it. Um, what I'm going to do, let's see if I have that. Oh, here's my template. Here's my little envelope of goodies, all kinds of things in here. And um, they're all falling out. Okay, we are. I have, I have this template that I made. So I actually, it's just like this. Only I pulled this back, and then this is going to what I'm going to keep. So this is how I'm going to stamp. So just watch what I'm going to do now. We're going to. Um, I'm going to take this aside. We're going to stamp. We're going to do our stamping, and we're going to do some stamping to make a little cake, and. We're going to bring in our little piercing mat. There we go. I've got a little half size that I that I cut. And we've got some sweet sorbet ink that's retiring. And first we're going to stamp, we're going to stamp on our birthday cake. So I've already done this die cutting and, and for the class too, I die cut for you. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to it works pretty well to just use your piercing mat and stamp just like that. Um, the other way you can do it is like this. You can stamp it upside down, turn ink it up. And I do that with red rubber, but not so much with photopolymer. You can tip it upside down like that and then turn it over. You can do that. That's much harder to do. Most of the time you're going to be stamping and die cutting, but for a video, I like to do it this way just because it's it's quicker for you to have it all, to have it die cut ahead of time. Okay, we're gonna do make a wish on the inside. So what we're going to do is take this little piece of this template, and I'm going to, it doesn't make any difference if I get any ink on the sides of it, because it's just a template. Make, um, let's see, let's, let's, I'm gonna do sending you lots of love. No, make a make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. Let's see what's here. We go. I'm gonna stamp that. Make a wish. Really get my chamois and get it clean. And okay, so I'm gonna take my little template away. This is going to go on top. We're going to stamp a little pull sign. We're going to put that right there. We're going to do a pull. And, oh, I need my petal pink, just a second. The petal pink, we're going to stamp um, on our, right on here. Okay, we're going to do our, our little flame. We're going to do a flame in petal pink. We're going to do our pull sign. Let's see, what's, where is that little pull thing? Oh, there it is, right? No, that's not it. That's not it. Let me see if I have it. Maybe it's in my, it's in here. I bet it's in the Easter one. Yep, there it is. Hiding underneath that. So we're going to do pull. That's going to tell people that you can pull this. There we go. Pull. And... I don't want to lose it for the next card. Okay, we're going to do our little flame. We're going to do that way up here, like that. We're going to do our little candle in the sweet sorbet, like that. And then our cake is going to get popped up right there. And we're going to set that aside for now. And our inside piece, let me see once. We're going to stamp something. We did make a wish, so we're going to do, um, hope your birthday is wonderful. So we're going to give that a good stamp right there. And if we wanted, we could put another, we could stamp the cake. We could stamp a cake here on the, let's do that on the, on the envelope for this card, okay? Let's, I think that would be a good touch. And we're going to just, whoop, this envelope is sort of dirty, so let me find one that's not dirty. Um, here we go. Oh, that's a card. 
Okay, here's one. This will do this. We're going to put a little uh, birthday cake right down here like that. And we're going to do the candle on top and the flame. The flame is sort of blowing, isn't it? It's, it's crooked because I was standing up and sort of bending down to, to do that. Okay. And there we go. And okay. I think that's all the stamping we have to do. Let's see. Let's close it up. That's a good touch on the envelope. And put that right there. Okay. Now we can finish our card. So we're gonna put this together like this. And so we're gonna put our make a wish down first. What do you think? Do you think this, it's easier ladies than you might think. I just, it, it took me a while. I had, I was sort of collecting ideas for my class and that I just wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do it without having seen it before, but I, it was really easy. So I think making the template like this is the key. Then you have these templates and you just keep them. Now what we're going to do is we have to get my silicone mat out. And we are going to use our liquid glue like this. I'm going to use my green Tombow glue. And I'm just going to put just a little bead, tiny bead along the edges because you don't want to get any glue around any of that part. Okay, and now we're gonna use my reverse tweezers because I do not like getting my fingers full of ink. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. I don't mind getting ink. I don't like getting glue on my fingers. That's what I don't like. And it gives you a little bit of wiggle room right there too. So there we go, that's good. Okay, and now we can pop up our, our birthday cake with a dimensional and we will be good to go take our pierce tool and get those little i loved i have i put them in a little i have a little um I have a little this is like a sewing tote thing that goes like on the arm of a chair and i just keep it right here and that's where i it's my little mini garbage bag and i just put those in there and then i can empty it real easily now, I probably should have stamped that candle way up above because there we go. It's all, the candle's all covered up on this one. I don't know what I was thinking. It needed to go way up there, but it'll, it's still cute, isn't it? Don't you think? And we're going to add some, we're going to add a ribbon. And, but I don't know what I was thinking. So we've got some of this red ribbon, the sweet sorbet. This is a, this color will, this will definitely retire. It's a, it's a narrow uh, bordered ribbon, ties beautifully, love it. So you get a little bit of this in the kit, in my class kit this week too. So I'm going to tie a bow and um, make a knot. So it's going to start, there we go. I'm going to make a smaller one like that. And then we're going to give it a little haircut. So you can pull it nice and tight. And you can still adjust it like that. When I use the bow jig, you can't adjust it. So um, that's a permanent way of doing it. This way you can keep adjusting it. And then I'm gonna use my mini glue dots to, um, oops, they didn't come, they didn't come off that time. Here we go. And I'm gonna put this right up here. You're gonna have to tell me which do you like better, the flowers, designer paper, or the uh, the stripes. So this here's like, here's the striped one. Do you like the stripes or the flower? I'm gonna give this a little haircut. A little trim, there we go, oops. Do you see how the candle is supposed to be sticking up like that? Well, it's not on this one, but that's the way it goes sometimes. And um, let's put some gems in. These are just these, um, I don't know what, what they're called. I can't remember when I don't even have the package in front of me, but they're the ones that are clear with gold flecks inside. They're just really a nice, a nice, we're gonna just put one down here and we're gonna put a couple of them. Use my putty tip, we're gonna put one there. And we're gonna put another one. Oop, 
stuck on my table. We'll put another one right down there. And our card is all finished. That's pretty fast. Once you make one, they, they go together very nicely. So what do you think? S flowers, stripes, those are vertical stripes. And these are, this one was stamped on a red paper, that red uh, sweet sorbet paper, and then with the ink. So I don't like that as well as I like it stamped on the white. Which is your favorite of these? Which do you like the best? Which of those designer papers? I think we all like having the candle stick up out of, maybe this, this flame has been burning a longer time. And so the candle's down to the very, very bottom of the, of the wax. Okay, and here is our, our uh, cake on the envelope. Which, which one do you like? Iridescent, thank you, Stacy. Iridescent foil gems. You like all of them. Oh, the flowers, Linda. Thank you for joining us today. Linda, Bonnie, okay. Okay, Deborah. Oh, good to see so many of you on here. Okay, that was our first card. We're gonna do another one. So this, so this is the one we just did. So I'm gonna leave it closed, but let me show you what's, what it's like when you pull it open. So you pull it off just like that, and there you have it. And then, you know, you really can't put it back on. It doesn't stay. So there it is, make a wish. I just want to be able to pull it off and show you. I can sort of put it on with a little glue dot, but um, I think that's what I'll do. And then I can still send it to someone if I need to. So anyway, but it's very cute, I think. And you have to have that pull sign because people maybe will not know. So anyway, that's a fun little card. And all of these will, I will have pictures of these on our website too. So, and if you're interested in the class, please let me know. Send me a message, text, uh, it's $40. You can Venmo, PayPal, or send me a check. This is what we're using next. This is the Easter, excellent Easter eggs. And let me tell you what, I didn't, I almost didn't buy this. I bought it, um, it was, I didn't buy it in the beginning. It's called Excellent Eggs. But oh my goodness, it is an excellent, excellent set of dies. I love the Rick Rack. I love the eggs. We're gonna use, you're gonna see all of these. Um, and it's got a cute set of stamps. Thinking of you, happy Easter, hello spring. There's no bunny like you. And we're gonna use that. Um, we could use that happy Easter, but we're gonna use this bigger one that says happy Easter like that. And that's throughout the year. This one's in our annual catalog. So let me put that over here. And this is all on page 27 of our catalog, our mini catalog. And it is, I'm so glad I did buy it and I hope that they'll keep it. I don't know, but quite often Easter and St. Patrick's Day, all those stamps, um, they do get retired, but I love this one, really do um, with it. It's got double stitching. The other Easter one is this Easter Lilies and I love that one too, it's great, they're both outstanding Easter sets this year. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, I'm gonna show you something first. So I have a special going on. It is my, today is March 12th, and it is my 12 year anniversary from Stamping Up. And if anyone places an order with me for, um, $50, you get one level of prizes, $75, you get another, $100. With $100, you get a package of cards, and with this clear case like this, you get cards, you get ribbon, you get a stamp set, you get gems, and you get two packages of paper. And you get, um, you get one package of paper with the $50 order, and you get gems. And then with each subsequent order, a little bigger, you get more things. That's my 12 year anniversary special. Okay, here is, oops, I'm losing things. Um, almost spilled all on the floor, but these are the cards that I made with this set. We're gonna make one of these today. I just, uh, what I did, um, these are, we're gonna make one. And this is, this one I just, um, I cut out a bunch of eggs. I cut out, like, I cut up all kinds of eggs. I took the colors from the, um, from the 
pop the, oh, whatever it's called. Uh, it's called Lighter Than Air. I took the colors. I took one sheet of cardstock from each of the colors because they're such great pastel Easter colors from that. And what I did was I just took all of the colors from that set of paper and I cut them in half. So I made card bases. And then I also die cut eggs from all these pretty pastels. And then I, so then I ended up with a dish of some zigzag and a dish of these, of these um, Easter eggs. And then I also ended up with some, oops, a daisy, a um, bunch of eggs like this. Now, those of you who watched my video from last week, you, what I did was I, you know that I feel real strongly about vellum goes on white only. So, um, because it just makes it pop more. If it goes on colors, it doesn't pop. So anyway, so I die cut some of the, um, the vellum pieces that I had left over, put them on the white, and then I added a strip of zip, uh, ziplock, not zip, zigzag, and that's what happens with that. So I have all these little Easter eggs yet left to, to make up. All different sizes, they have large ones, and then there's medium, and then they have the small ones. So it's really fun. I don't know if I've had more fun playing with the set than I did this, this set. Both of these interactive ones are really fun. So this, I just put some, um, these are all part of those those dies, and you can sort of see the, the zigzag, how double it, it is. Um, then I used, I'm gonna, we're gonna use an embossing folder this time too, so um, that I think helps a little bit. Um, so we have a brand new embossing folder set. It's called, these are little mini ones that go in our small mini cut and emboss machine. It's called Fun Patterns. It's part of the online exclusives. So one is with flowers like this. It's very pretty. I just ran it down the middle. Um, you, here's the other one. This one, it looks like diamonds. It's very pretty. I have it. So, oh, here it is. Where is it? Let me see. Let's, maybe I, oh, here it is. Yes. This is what that one looks like. It's really neat. I like it a lot. I like them a lot. Um, it's a nice set. So I don't know how long they'll last, but that is part of the online exclusives if you don't have it. The embossing folders aren't very expensive. So um, I don't know where my paper is now. But anyway, so we're going to make a card that has... You're going to decide, do you want the dark brown chocolate bunny like that? That's dark chocolate, early espresso. Or do you want the white bunnies? So you tell me, do you want white bunnies or chocolate bunnies? And we're going to make an egg that's going to be like this. And then we're going to add some zigzag um, to our Easter, behind our happy Easter. Okay, so we're going to put this right here. On this one, I used crumb cake as a base and then a white inside with a, it has the, early espresso and that's what we're going to use. That's what I decided to use and I'm going to tell you why. In this one I used the uh, early espresso with the crumb cake and then you can sort of see, see right there. It The crumb cake is, is good because you can still stamp on it and it's not, um, I don't want to pull it off yet. So until we have another one, we'll do that then. Okay, let's bring our pieces out and we're going to to, to gather bits and pieces. We're going to start with a um, crumb cake base, five and a half by eight and a half, our standard size, scored at four and a quarter. Right there it is. And then we have, um, we have our espresso. That's going to be our next layer, just like that. So that's just a, a notch down. I want four inches by five and a fourth. And we take our little, remember, I have all of these measurements are all typed up already. All I have to do is download them as soon as the video is, is live. So there we go. And then uh, we have a white inside that's three and three fourths. For this card, you actually need two, two pieces of white that are the same size. One I embossed this time. So this is going to be right there. 
don't for oh i i always appreciate you sharing thumbs up hearts all those things that helps facebook um analytics and helps my small business grow i always appreciate it with you sharing with your friends if you sort of uh if you if your if your screen is big you you won't see the share button but if you minimize it you'll see it and there'll be a button that'll say share and you can share it individually you can put it on your own facebook page you can put it all kinds of places send it to friends individually so now our white embossed piece this one i i thought with we i did not emboss the other one and i thought they were sort of plain i thought it, it was just a little bit plainer than i wanted but so this time i used an embossed piece this one is from the uh, online exclusives that came out a, a while back here is the new um the softly sophisticated that's sort of a pretty one that one's pretty i think and then we did the one for today with the flowers or the um, the diamonds either one i think we're going to use this um i think we'll use that little hashtag one sort of i think that would be a good one we're going to stamp on a, a a label and you're going to tell me if you want the brown bunny or the white bunny we'll we'll stamp those okay and then we're going to have some more pieces let me get those out of here We've got bunnies galore coming up. We've got enough cards for another set of cards here. This one I, I did color with it's a little pink bunny. I don't really like that as well, but it still works. So okay, we're going to um we're gonna bring we're gonna let's get this part all put together and then we will do our stamping, okay? And we're gonna do we're gonna put this down. And so this is just a little quarter of an inch smaller than the last one. The last mat, there we go. And that's all ready now to decorate. We're gonna set that over here. Hopefully, hopefully I will not lose it. Um, that's my host code for March. If you're ordering with me, I always appreciate you, or, you ordering from me and using the host code too. Okay, so we're gonna do our stamping. We're going to stamp in early espresso. And we're going to, this card's going to take, it takes a little bit longer, but it's still a pretty fast one. It's not too hard. I'm using, again, this stamp is Happy Easter. I just like this, the length of it. It fits perfectly on this banner. We don't need a piercing mat because these are, these have red rubber um, stamps. There's a layer of foam in there, so we don't need that piercing mat for these. Okay, and now let's do some more stamping. We're going to, the only way I'm, I am going to use the, um, we're going to stamp a brown bunny and we're going to stamp a, I think we're going to stamp a brown bunny. Maybe you're not. Maybe we're not. Um, I thought I had one cut out. I, I was positive I did, but um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know if I see one. He must have gotten lost. We're going to just he must have popped away someplace, so we are going to get our, we're going to get our, our, our bunny rabbit all inked up. I'm just putting them on here just be, so I can see it, okay? And what I'm going to do on this one, since I can't see very well, it's not photo -pop, I'm just going to tip it upside down like that, and then I can take another stamp and press it and flip it over, and it should be good. Let's see how it turned out. Looks good. And um, if you wanted to make him chocolate, you could take um, your um, blender pen and you could do the edges to make him chocolate. I think we're gonna use it. He's gonna be a white bunny this time. So I hope too many of you didn't, um, You so many of you are saying brown, brown, brown. I can see that. Oh yeah, brown, brown, brown. Uh, we can, we can, let, let's do that. We, let's color him in so he's a little brown. He's a, we'll just pull his, we'll make him a little bit of a brown bunny. Like pulling this ink from the sides and um, just like that. He's got a little tinge of brown. Like that. I think we're going to put a little bit of pink in his, so he's almost like a tan bunny, I think. And then we're going to put a little bit of pink in his ears and a little bubble gum or flirty flamingo and give him a pink nose. That'll be good. And um, 
Let's see. Huh? I think. Yep. Most people are saying brown, brown, brown. Okay. Let's take set him aside. Let's take an envelope, and we're going to do a little bunny rabbit on the envelope also. So we're going to do put him right down there on the corner, and okay, set him aside. Let's see. Once we're going to take our piece now. Okay. So what we're going to do? Here's our card. What we're going to do is take. Um, we're going to take our tan, tan, it's not tan, it's crumb cake. I'm going to set that right there so I don't get my elbow in it. And this is going to, um, this one's going to just have one layer of, anytime you can't get started, you can use your thumb or you can use your um, silicone mat. I'm going to put this up in the corner, leaving a little border around there we go just like that and now what we're going to do oh here are the chocolate bunnies right there i have one i have one stamped right there you can sort of see that they were stuck in between i knew i had i had die cut a bunch of them so anyway now you're going to be able to we can have we can do something okay so we have a piece this was two and a half by two and a half and I've already glued that down. Now I've got my template right here that I made. And I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp something like this one says, there's no bunny like you. Stamp it with my early espresso. And I'm going to put it right there in the middle. Just hold it over your template. And there's there it is. No bunny, bunny like you. And, and I can see that I got a little bit of, I've got to take my brown uh, stamp and write marker. It looks like I didn't press with both hands very well. So there we go. That's a little better. And now we're going to take our, we're going to take our white piece that we're taking our white. This time I used a white stitch square and then I die cut that little piece. You can see how it's perforated. I'm going to put it on here like that. I am going to put a pull sign. I'm going to stamp my pull sign in the espresso like that. There we go. And now let me close up my ink. Get that out of the way. And what I did, so now I want to, what I'm going to do next is going to put the combo glue right a little thin bead right around the edge so yeah, like that easter is so early this year march 31st we are actually going to stay in florida until after easter we're going back april 3rd we're going to stop in wisconsin and see my mom who's 97 for a few hours and then we're going to fly on to montana there we go and there we go with that. And then we're going to put a bunny. So which do you like? Do you like the brown bunny? Or do you like the the white with the little, that bunny? You tell me, which bunny do you like better? The white one with the little bit of brown tan. Here's our happy Easter. And we're going to get our egg. This is all. So I'm going to save this template. Because that's going to be useful for more cards in this set. Um just put this aside for a minute here. Okay, there we have our happy Easter and your chocolate. Diane, you're saying chocolate. Phyllis, you're saying brown, brown. Uh, Jeannie, you said white. Hi, Simone, Diane, white, joy, white. Oh, goodness, joy, Janet, chocolate. Oh, thank you for the congratulations on my 12 years. I like the vertical one, Phyllis said. Come home soon, Linda said. Um, yeah, well, it's been a good winter here. It's not been very, not terribly warm, but um, it's been nice. Uh, it's quite pleasant. So we're going to take our, um, I was at least out of the cold and snow, and it's given me an opportunity to walk every, almost every day. We're going to do, uh, so now, should we do the chocolate egg, or should we do the, pool party egg like that. 
you tell me. Okay, we're going to, I think what we're going to do is um, do some, mm, I don't know, we'll use, I think we're going to use the pool party. I'm going to cut this in half and the zigzag, you can see how, you can see the, the dotted, the double stitching on there, it's so cool. And I'm going to just put this, put that behind the Happy Easter, I'm going to use my silicone mat, I'm just going to put it. I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to scotch tape it. I didn't do that before, but I might as well. It's just so easy to use this, the tape. I think we'll do that. And so, what I'm, so, so it's going to look like that. And I'm going to take the other piece. And it's going to have two little sections sticking out like that. So... There we have it. We probably it's probably too long, maybe too, maybe not. I don't know. Eh, maybe a little bit. We're gonna I think we'll just cut it a little bit shorter so we have a little border on there, like that. And that's going to go right here. That looks a little funny the way the way I cut it. I probably should not have cut it. I think I'm gonna fix that by doing straight like that. And then this one's going to be straight too. There, that's better, I think. So, okay, now we're going to take a, and you could certainly, you know, you could even do two rows. You could do two rows of a color, you know, like that. I, I have it right in the center, so we're going to leave it like that. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on it and um, I'm going to just add a couple dimensionals. So these, these are the ones that I cut from my little, um, the little dish. These come in a big sheet and I like to cut them up for, so I don't have to do so many. So of the little ones. Okay, we're going to just put this right down at the bottom like that. And <clears throat> cute as can be, don't you think? Okay. Um, how about the twins? One of each. Well, let's do that. Let's, we can do one of each, Martina. I think that's a good idea. Let's, we'll do the chocolate one and the, and the white one. We'll do twin bunnies on this one. I think that's a great idea, Martina. Okay, so now you still have to tell me, do you want the pool party egg or the chocolate egg? Which one? Okay, we're going to do our, our little bunnies. I'm going to put um, some dimensionals on those. We're going to use our regular dimensionals. We're just, just we're going to just put one on each of those and, um, and those little twin, they're twins. Yep, bunnies do have, rabbits do have pretty big litters, I think. So they could have, they could have twin bunnies. So we're gonna do, we're gonna stagger them a little bit. There we go. And um, we could even put one on the inside. So what are you telling me about, um, well, let me see one's pool party egg. Um, chocolate bunny, pool party. Janet said pool party egg. Okay, let's see. That's, I'm going to show you what I, oh, this one I already have done, sort of, it's with the yellow, but um, let me show you how this one would look. So you would take, we can do the chocolate on the inside, I think, I think let's do that. We'll, we'll put, I'm going to put this one on, I just cut this one out with yellow and pool party, the pool party fell away, and the yellow just stayed behind it, like that. Um, Simple as, simple as pie, really. It's not hard at all. Okay. And then this, so this one's going to stay like that. And then on the inside, we're going to do this one. We're going to put this egg down. The chocolate egg is going to go down. I'm going to put it, it with my uh, Tombow glue, just a little tiny bead along. Oh, there we go. This glue is very, very strong. It's messy for me. I don't and I would, I'd rather use the tape runner, but it works well for things that are skinny. And unless you want to use the uh, adhesive sheets, those work too. But I always forget those. Don't you? Most people seem to forget them. I don't know. They're nice, but they do. I always forget them until it comes time to adhere. Okay, there. So that's all put down like that. And now what I do is I, you can make it different colors. Like this one, I made pink with uh, yellow, the bubble gum. This one, I'm going to just make it all one color. I'm gonna just put some adhesive in there, like that. 
it'll uh, squish around and then you just sort of build it like this look turn it upside down no i don't it's just like putting a puzzle together. It's really quite fun. It's a mo like a mosaic. It goes together. I don't know if I have, it looks like I have cut that crooked. Um, but I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, this one's going to go like a, like a wave almost. There we go. That would be pretty on the outside too. Isn't that cute? So that one says, Happy Easter. And then you could do spring or whatever else you want on the outside. Um, what do you think? We need some gems on here now. Let's see what's where are my gems. We're going to use these pretty gems that come with it, that hot air balloon set. There. These are called rainbow adhesive. Um, let me see here. We're going to put some, I think we'll do the, um, I have three packages started. I've used a lot of the Calypso. We're going to use the, uh, going to use the uh, pool party. We're going to put some right here under the pool party. Egg. You could use brown also. Oops. What happened to my other one here? I'm going to put three of them right there. And we're going to put one up here by the pool tab. Just going to put one right there. And we've got four. I usually like to use three, three or five, but that's all right, we'll just use, that works today, because I want to put one, I want to bring emphasis to that little pull. And so then you would pull it back like this, and there you have, there's no bunny like you. Isn't that sweet? Okay, there is our card, and here's the other one that I made ahead of time. Let me see one, so where's the other one? Um, and this one. So this is one we did today with the twin bunnies. This I just used some from the uh, the brown espresso. Just did some lines. This one I did a zigzag egg, and that's it. So where's my other card? Whoops, a daisy. Um, I don't know. There it is. There it is, right here. Here's another one with the big Easter eggs. Or these are the medium Easter eggs, and then here it is with the. Uh, the uh, vellum with the alcohol blends that I did last week that you can go back and watch. Okay, I hope some of you will. There's still plenty of time to get this set before Easter. Um, shipping is really good right now. It's on time, not a problem. So anyway, you can um, still get that and make some neat Easter cards. Okay, close your eyes. My sisters are going to come in and say hi. Oh, you're very welcome. I love sharing with you guys. I do. It's so much fun. I really enjoy it a lot. And um, I wonder if my sisters can hear me. They're going to come in and say hi. And let's see once. Maybe they're not. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Kathy, I'm appre appreciated. I'm glad you liked the cards today. It was fun having you. Don't forget about the online exclusives. Don't forget about my class and about my anniversary special. You can always go back and watch the video again, too. So you're welcome, Diane. Thank you for sharing. Thumbs up, share, hearts. All those things are really great. They help me so much. Come over here, girls. These are my two sisters. We did this. Chris, come on over here, baby. And this is my sister, Chris. This is my sister, Carla. And my sister, Kara, has already left. I'm the oldest then Carla, then Chris, then my brother Keith, and then my sister Kara. You want to say hi, girls? Hello. Hi, girls. <laughs> you say, some of you I know, some of you I don't know. Yeah, you've met some people, and, and you've met some of my, some of you have met my sisters, some of you haven't. Um, some people who've been on trips with me, on my Stamping Up trips, you've met my sisters. So, hey, it's, it is, it's fun to have them here. I'm going to miss them a lot. They were, they were super helping me after my surgery. My sister Chris came one week, then my sister Carla came, then our daughter Sarah. So I need a lot of help. And I'm a little bit better this this time. I can, I'm walking and, and with my walking sticks, still use a walker too, but I'm walking with walking sticks a great deal of the time. And um, anyway, I've loved having my sisters here. Thanks, Ian. Yeah, it's great to have sisters for sure. Anyway. There, we're going to go have some lunch, and then they're going to catch a plane this afternoon to go back to Wisconsin. 
Anything you want to say, Chris or Carla? We wish we didn't have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I wish you didn't have to either. So The cards are great. Oh, thank you very thank you. much. Yeah. And, uh, okay, here we go, ladies. And I will uh, thank you so much. Thanks for the thumbs up, the hearts, the shares, all those things. And anyone who makes a purchase, you'll be getting gifts in the mail. Um, yeah, happy travels to you girls. Uh, thank you, Martina. And uh, um, I will see you next Tuesday, same time. Alrighty, thanks, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.